This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This is the 258th daily video update from the Unitarian Church of Lincoln since our first one on March 15th of last year. It's one year after I started doing these updates. If more than a few people watch it today, it will also be the update where we pass 7,000 views in total. There's been a lot of one-year anniversaries this week, so I won't belabor the, the point about how we started doing these a year ago, other than we're doing a coronavirus update uh, in the back half of, of today's update. But I did want to just share a couple, a couple reflections of things that have come up in the last year. I was looking through the, the YouTube search results that lead folks to the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, and, and most of them are dominated, as you might imagine, by people typing in Unitarian Church of Lincoln into the, um, into the search box on YouTube. But we have also gotten folks uh, coming to this channel and watching these updates uh, when they search for daily update as a title, which makes sense. Um, also, when they have searched tenor sax and Trump Dream, and I've been on OPM for the last 10 days. Other searches that have result that we've gotten results from, usually only one, uh, include folks searching for hair product, Curious George Without Context, Ancient Egypt Lecture, Beyond Mystic, and Stick War Legacy. So I guess what I want to say as part of this update is wherever you have come from, however you found us, we are glad that you're here. We're, we're glad that you are a part of our community, even if only for a moment when you realize that this is not the right channel to be watching for updates on hair care products. Aside, the other thing is, aside from uh, the first few weeks of the pandemic, the most watched daily update we've posted was on June 8th of 2020, talking about why Unitarian Universalism should be lived out loud publicly and then holding up one of our new yard signs for the first time. In the last week, or in the last year, we've done updates from the road, from offices across the country, from snow covered trails in upstate New York to bike tours of Lincoln, Nebraska. And it's evolved from relatively humble beginnings of simply turning on the webcam and recording there to most days a setup with a, a camera and a microphone. Uh, other days, uh, we have a, a mobile setup that sits on my chest as we move around and update. We also still occasionally, particularly if I'm behind that week, post an update taken from a pretty shaky cell phone wherever I find myself uh, on, on that day. So anyway, it's been, there's been a lot of one year anniversaries this week. A lot of them are a little melancholy, but for me, this one is actually joyous because this has been a new way of doing ministry, of connecting with the congregation that I never imagined would be part of my job. And now after a year and over 250 of these videos, I actually can't imagine doing ministry without this piece of it. So uh, whether you got here uh, as a member of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, or if you're still looking for hair product videos, Thank you so much for being a part of that. Back to our usually scheduled update. Mondays for the last three months or so have been times to put out an update about the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic here in Lincoln. And we have marked a year this, um, this week, both in our service yesterday and in our service to come, we'll be talking more about what the experience of the year has been uh, for staff and leadership at the church. But as we come and mark the year anniversary, there are also signs of hope. Last week, Lancaster County distributed 20,000 vaccines. A few days ago, I found myself 
for the first time one of the only people in a meeting who had not had at least one vaccine. At the church, at the Unitarian Church where I serve, the task force on reentry has been working for the last month on literally dozens of aspects of getting back into our building, different projects. And we're meeting on Wednesday night this week to share the pieces we've been working on for the last month and to figure out what our next steps are. This past weekend on Sunday, Saturday, I spent some time at my office at the church starting to rearrange the physical space of the minister's office for a, a configuration that better matches the needs of the moment, both in terms of distance and in terms of this part of my job now of video production and editing. And last week, the, the president of the country laid out some goals time-wise that vaccines will be available to anyone who wants one by May, and that if we do this well, we'll be in a place to celebrate the 4th of July in person, in small gatherings outside, in backyards across the country. So we're getting closer, maybe even getting close to the end of this time of pandemic, which is why it's really important not to lose focus. Don't be Bill Buckner in the 1986 World Series. Keep your mask on get vaccinated, do this last part right, and we will see each other soon. So be well, everybody. I look forward to the next year of doing these in whatever format that takes. Tomorrow, we'll pick back up with our series on the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's Congregational Covenant. See you then.